everybody, it's Premier Gal here. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Audio Network's panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. Audio Network is an online music library to help you find tracks that will fit your video production needs. So they have all sorts of different genres to choose from. Now as video editors, you know, it time is money and finding music can sometimes take a lot of time especially when you're looking for that perfect musical track and you can't quite get it so the panel will save you heaps of time you don't have to go back to the browser import your music into premiere pro you can simply download and purchase your tracks get a license within premiere pro so let me go ahead and show you how to use it so first you have to go to the website audionetwork.com and you select the installer that matches your operating system so because I'm a Mac user I will download the Mac now you need to make sure that Premiere Pro is shut down and then you run the installer so now that you have Audio Network installed it's time to open up Premiere Pro and to see the panel in action and what I mean by panel is it's a window within Premiere Pro so it's the Audio Network plugin, but you see it as a panel within Premiere Pro. Just to clarify if I switch between the two terms throughout the tutorial. So we're here in um, Premiere Pro, and right now I have this, this project, but I don't have any music for it. With the Audio Network panel, we're going to select some tracks that may work for it. So right now, we don't have the Audio Network panel open. To get it open, after we've installed it, you go up to Window, and then you go to Extensions, and you select the Audio Network Music. After you open up the Audio Network Music panel, if you click on your profile up in the upper right-hand corner, you'll have a submenu that comes down. Now Favorites, uh, spelt with a U because it's a British company, which is awesome. I love the Brits, so good on you for using the U in your Favorites. Um, if you click on favorites, it'll show you all of your favorite tracks that you've liked, even when you were on audionetwork.com previously liking tracks. If you select on purchases, it'll show you all the purchases that you've made. And then if you click on projects, um, these are almost like playlists that you're probably the most familiar with. So the playlist is if you like a track, if you favorite it, it'll be you can select a project to be put into. So it helps you keep your um, audio tracks organized by project, which is really great. And then if you click on settings, this is the most nifty part. Audio Network Music Panel is really smart because it automatically saves your music tracks that you purchase and download to the same folder as your Premiere Pro project folder. So you don't have to go and move your tracks around like you do when you download from online, which goes into your downloads folder. It automatically saves into your project folder, which saves you time, right? And lastly, um, in the submenu, it's just the logout. So let's go ahead, if you hit this um, arrow in the upper left-hand corner to go back for searching. Um, another great thing about the Audio Network panel that I like is all of these fun tags that they've created. Um, if you're searching for particular moods or emotions to go along with your video. They have these um, sort of preset tags in here like uplifting pop, uplifting piano. So like sometimes there's like genres mixed with the mood and sometimes it's like what you want, like the action of what you want your video to do. If you want it to be uplifting, but then you want an instrument particularly, let's say you want it to be uplifting, but you want a piano too. So if you click on this tag, it'll find all of the tracks that are uplifting and use the piano, which is really nice. So if you want to favorite a track, all you have to do is go and click on this heart button, which is towards the right of the track. So you go ahead and hit the heart button, and then this is where you can either save it into an existing project, or you can create a new project. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this by just clicking on the heart in the test project folder. You can also search by artist. One of my favorite artists is Terry Devine King, really like his tracks. So you can search by artist. Um, and I, I did already favorite one of the songs that I really like that I think might be good for this project of his. If I go back to my favorites here, it's the Having Fun track. It sounds like this.
so it's pretty fun. Because I have an all access download account, um, I don't have the option here on the right to say I wanna purchase it because I don't have to, I just have to download it here on the right, which is this little cloud with the, with the arrow down. So if I click on this button, it will start downloading it. And watch what happens after it's done downloading. You'll see a folder appear in the project panel just below. And once it's done, it automatically imports it. And here we go, in this project panel here, you'll see that the having fun track is here. So now I can take this track and I can drop it underneath this little video that I need an audio track for. Pretty cool, huh? And all of this was done within Premiere Pro. I didn't have to go to audionetwork.com to do any of this. So it's a way of bringing audionetwork.com and all of its wonderfulness into Premiere Pro. So I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Um, you know, I'm sure Audio Network is gonna continue to come out with other features to go along with their panel. Um, this is their first launch of it. Um, so let me know what you think and of course, you know, don't feel pressured to feel like you always have to use Audio Network. It's a great tool, um, but I also use other, you know, musical options as well, such as Free Music Archive. Um, I also have lots of friends that are musicians that I use music for. Um, but Audio Network is perfect for those professional video productions, like any commercials, music videos. Um, any promo videos or documentaries, that that's what Audio Network is good for. So I encourage you to go download it and check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.